Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Today we are going to discuss about the interchange fee and we would also understand how an issuer or acquirer along with the card scheme network, they generate revenue in the entire card life cycle. So basically how do they make money when as a customer you swipe your own card or tap your card on a post terminal or maybe you use it somewhere else on ATM, e-commerce, etc. So this is Ramesh Chu, a card and payment enthusiast and welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's get started and see how this payment ecosystem helps making money out of the card transactions. Interchange fees. I don't really mind if you call it as an incentive or, or any commission, okay? a fixed amount or a variable amount or a combination of both, which is basically shared between issuer and acquirer. So it's a fee, okay? And why it is being shared between both issuer and acquirer? Because both of them together are providing the payment facilities, the payment services to the cardholder and the merchants. As a cardholder, you can go to any coffee shop or you can go to any supermarket, right? So you use your credit card over there. So it is a merchant or an acquiring bank who provides you this facility to make a payment. So they are facilitating you to process a payment, right? On the other hand, there is an issuing bank who gives you a credit card or maybe a prepaid card or a saving card. So both of them together are providing you some services and because of which, Basically, they are getting some revenue or they are getting some fees. So this is called interchange fee. If you talk about a post transaction, okay, or a retail transaction. So in case of a retail transaction, any acquiring bank, they pay the interchange fees amount to the issuer. Whereas in case of ATM, okay, in case of ATM, for example, the cash withdrawal, so the it is just a vice versa of the retail transaction. It's unlike retail transaction, what happens in, in case of ATM transaction is, issuing bank will give the interchange fees to the acquiring bank. There are certain parameters which are used to calculate the interchange fees. For example, transaction type, region, in which region the transaction is being performed, MCC, merchant category code, card type, there can be few more. Uh, you can refer Visa, MasterCard, Phase 2 or clearing uh, specification for more details. Apart from interchange fees, there are two more parameters. Number two is payment association fee. And the third one is MDR, merchant discount rate. So in total, there are three, interchange association fee. And the third one is MDR, merchant discount rate. So let's quickly understand what are the other two parameters. And then I will take an example so that you can easily understand the complete flow. Someone who is new to the card and payment domain and watching this video directly, I would suggest immediately stop watching it and go back to all other videos, all other my chapters. Okay, get a basic understanding of acquirer, issuer, visa, MasterCard, card, scheme, network, and then you can jump onto this video. But those who are already familiar with the card and payment domain, so let's try to understand what is a assessment fee or a payment association fee. Scheme transaction charges, you can call it with any, any name that you are comfortable with. You can call it as a scheme transaction fee or a payment association fee or, a, or assessment fee. The idea that you need to understand, the concept that you need to understand is this is a fee that is paid by the member banks, means acquirer or issuer to the payment scheme, means any issuing bank or acquiring bank. They are paying these charges to the associations, means the Visa MasterCard, because they are the gatekeeper, they are the gateways through which the transactions are basically getting routed from acquirer to issuer. All the authorization from acquirer to issuer and then the responses from issuer to acquirer. There are various types of fees, for example, international transaction, 
processing charges, administrative charges. So there is a long list, I believe. Okay, so I would suggest you to go through the payment scheme based to clearing specifications to understand it in details. But for this video, so one thing you need to be very clear about is like, this is a fee, this is an amount, okay, which is basically paid to the Visa, MasterCard or any other payment associations or payment schemes. Finally, it is MDR, Merchant Discount Rate. So it is a fee which merchant is going to pay to the acquirer. So for example, if you as a card holder making a payment of $100 and let's suppose merchant is paying $2 to the acquirer as a fee. So it means how much merchant is going to get 100 minus 2 means $98. So look at the last formula credit to merchant what it is transaction amount minus MDR. So transaction amount was $100 and MDR was $2. Just hypothetically, let's assume it was $2. So 100 minus 2 means $98 merchant is going to get. Now, what is the formula for MDR? It is acquirer profit plus interchange plus scheme transaction charges. What it means? So the MDR of $2 is going to be divided into the three parts. Number one is the acquirer profit. Second one is interchange. And the third one is the payment association fee, which is scheme transaction fee. So these three parties are going to share the $2 profit, the $2 profit that they have gained from the merchant. Now let's take an example, a real time example, so that you and me can understand what is MDR, what is interchange, what is scheme transaction charges. And you can actually imagine What's going on when you swipe your card on a post terminal? You pay $100, merchant gets $98, and the rest of the $2, these three parties are going to be shared. So let's take an example. In this slide, I just want to show you the typical ranges of MDR, interchange fee, and scheme transaction charges. And trust me, from my experience, these are going to be more or less the same value that you might have seen across all the other regions. Because from my experience, I have worked in certain geographical uh, regions like Middle East, Asia Pacific, Europe, and Africa. You might have worked in some other regions. So they can be some plus and minus, but more or less it is uh, going to be the same thing. MDR, for example, is going to vary from 1.7 to 4%. There are certain fixed charges. And then interchange is 1 to 1.7. Again, there are certain fixed charges. And scheme transaction is 0 0.102, 0 0.15. Again, it can vary. I'm taking an example of transaction amount $100. And the MDR is 3% where there are no fixed charges. OK, let's assume. Like there are no fixed charges so that it's easy to understand. And interchange fee is 1.7%. And then the finally, the STC is the scheme transaction charge, which is payment association fee, which is 0.12%, uh, which is 12 cent or uh, $0.12. So all these calculations are basically done on the transaction amount. If you look at this, like 3% of the MDR on $100, then 1.7% again on the transaction amount. So 1.7% of the $100 is $1.7. And then 0.12% again on the $100 itself. So all the calculations are being done on the transaction amount only. Now, finally, how much amount merchant is going to get? What was the formula in the previous slide? Let me just show you. Credit to merchant is transaction amount minus MDR. So what is transaction amount? $100 minus MDR is $3. So it means in this particular scenario, merchant is going to get only $97. Now acquire a profit. 
let me again go back what was the acquire profit is mdr minus interchange minus scheme transaction charges so let me go back acquire share is mdr minus interchange 1.7 dollar and minus the scheme association charges so it means out of this 3 dollar acquirer is going to pay 1.7 dollar to the issuer as an interchange and 0.12 basically it's an share of acquirer and issuer both both of them together are going to pay 0.1 dollar to the scheme network association so finally 1.18 dollar is the profit of the acquirer so this 3 dollar of amount has been shared between issuer 1.7 dollar between acquirer 1.18 dollar and then the scheme 12 cent which is 0.12 dollar i want you to assume now that you as a customer visiting a a uh, cro grocery shop or a coffee shop whatever it is okay and you are making a payment of 100 dollar so the first step is you are making a payment right 100 dollar at the end of the month you are getting a statement and you are paying this 100 dollar back to the issuing bank right it could be all together a different story that you are getting some cash back but at the moment i don't want to get into it okay let's assume you make a payment of 100 dollar and at the end of the month you are paying 100 dollar back to the issuing bank so what's happening in the back end how the merchant where you are making this payment if you are in a grocery shop or on a coffee shop how that merchant is actually getting that 100 dollar back so let's try to understand how that fund movement or a settlement actually happens in the system in the back end so the issuer will bill the customer with a 100 dollar amount right you make a payment of 100 dollar so you are going to be billed by 100 dollar by the issuing bank what was the issuer profit issuer profit was interchange fee right what was that 1.7% 1.7% so issuer is going to deduct that 1.7% and going to transfer only 98.3 dollar back to the scheme so what is the issuer profit here 1.7 dollar now scheme is going to receive 98.3 dollar now how much scheme is going to return back to the acquirer they will deduct their amount their association fee which was 0.12 dollar 0.12 dollar 12 cent they will deduct 98.3 minus 0.12 98.8 uh sorry 98.18 so they will give this money back to the acquirer right now what was the profit of the acquirer 1.18 dollar so what acquirer is going to do they are going to deduct their 1.18 dollar from this amount so finally this 97 dollar is going to be credited to the merchant account so this is the calculation that is going to be performed in the back end system which as a customer you might not be aware of but this is how it happens in the system i hope after today's session you would have understood that when you make a payment at any of the terminals in a matter of seconds your transaction hits three different systems acquiring card network and issuing actually it's not three it's four because merchant is also there so eventually there are four and your money is divided into four different parts merchant takes the value of the goods that he sold to you and rest of the three member charge a fee against the payment services that they provide to make this digital transaction happen so this is all about today's topic i really want to thank each one of you for your love and respect that you gave to me on my youtube channel and linkedin profile keep doing the same please guys and stay connected thank you bye bye